He is known for being one of the three German inventors of the Triergen sound on film system. He is recognized for developing a photoelectric recording method and incorporating the soundtrack with stock 35mm film. His name is Hans Voigt. In the early 20th century, a revolutionary invention emerged in the world of film, the Triergen sound on film system. Developed by three German inventors, Joseph England, Joseph Massal, and Hans Voigt, this system used a unique photoelectric recording method and incorporated the soundtrack with standard 35mm film. With the formation of Triergen AG in Zurich, the inventors aimed to capture the market's attention with their groundbreaking invention. However, it faced challenges right from the start. Ufa, a German film company, acquired the sound film rights for the Triergen process in 1925 but faced technical issues during the public showing of their first sound film. As other sound film processes emerged and competed for attention, Triergen merged with other companies to form the Tobi Syndicate in 1928, which then joined forces with the Klangfilm AG Syndicate in 1929. The resulting Tobi's Klangfilm became the dominant sound film process in Germany and Europe, while American film companies were still embroiled in patent disputes. The Triergen system faced its own legal battles in the United States. William Fox of the Fox Film Corporation acquired the U.S. rights for Triergen and initiated a patent infringement battle against much of the American film industry in 1929. The dispute finally reached its resolution in 1935 when Fox lost his final appeal in the U.S. Supreme Court. A new agreement was signed in Paris in 1936, allowing the Triergen system to continue its use in Germany and across the continent during World War II. The Triergen sound on film system may not have gained widespread recognition globally, but its impact on the film industry cannot be understated. It pushed the boundaries of technology and paved the way for advancements in sound recording and synchronization in films. The Triergen name will forever be associated with the pioneers who dared to dream and revolutionize the way we experience movies. In the early days of cinema, a brilliant inventor named Triergen revolutionized the way sound was recorded and reproduced. Triergen's greatest scientific discovery was the development of a groundbreaking process for recording sound onto film, using a method known as variable density. Unlike other methods used at the time, such as RCA Photophone, Triergen's process involved using the variable density method pioneered by Movie Tone and Lee DeForest's Phonofilm. What made Triergen's process truly remarkable was the use of a unique microphone that didn't have any mechanical moving parts. This innovation allowed for precise sound pickup, resulting in high-quality recordings. In addition, Triergen utilized a special electric discharge tube for recording sound onto film, using the variable density method. This combination of advanced technology ensured that the sound captured was clear and accurate. When it came to reproducing sound, Triergen employed an electrostatic loudspeaker. This innovative speaker system delivered exceptional sound quality, bringing the recorded audio to life for audiences. Triergen's commitment to excellence in both recording and reproduction set them apart from their competitors. However, Triergen faced some controversy due to two specific patents in their system. One patent involved using an extra 7mm sound strip attached to the edge of a standard 35mm film, resulting in a wider film format of 42mm. This required special adjustments on standard projectors, which didn't sit well with the industry. Despite the initial resistance, Triergen's dedication to improving sound quality prevailed, and their wider film format became widely adopted. Another patent that caused a stir was the flywheel, which allowed the film to flow smoothly through sound reproducing equipment. This innovation ensured a seamless playback experience, enhancing the overall viewing and listening pleasure for audiences. Today, an original Triergen sound movie projector can be found in the collection of the Deutsches Museum in München, Germany. This serves as a testament to the profound impact of Triergen's greatest scientific discovery on the world of cinema and sound recording. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.